Hey, so thought it would be a good idea to show you how I go about creating a new project in GitHub that I then add Unity to. <laughs> uh, so here we are in GitHub, uh, the web application. Um, and okay, you see, I got lots of uh, projects, everything I put, everything I do, I put up on, on GitHub. Uh, and so I want to make a new one, new. <laughs> so repository name, I'm going to call this um, eh, sample GitHub Unity. Okay, I'm going to make it public. I always make it public because if I make it private, what, you got to pay for it, right? I hate paying for anything. Add a, add a readme file. Yeah, sure, why not? Add a license. Yeah, sure, why not? Am I like I'm a mentee? Anybody can do anything they want with my stuff and they don't have to give me credit. I don't care. Uh, and then a git ignore. And of course, we want the unity to ignore. I suppose the same thing applies for Unreal. Uh, create repository. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> uh, what I have is my git ignore, uh, a license, and a readme. And so now I want to go code. I want to go and open with GitHub Desktop. I, I assume that's what most of you are doing. Now, what might happen with me is that it'll go to my more fancy tools. Uh, yeah, it went to my more fancy tools, uh, but it'll still work. Uh, um, yeah, okay, it's my fancy tools. Okay, maybe, okay, I won't do it with the fancy tools. Uh, I'll go ahead and open up GitHub Desktop. If you don't have fancy tools, you shouldn't have this issue. Uh, so let's see, Mike, I want to find a, a, the repository from my place. Um, I see I have them. Add, uh, add existing repository. Uh, choose, oh, okay, no, that's going local. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, how do I get my repository from... From me online. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, oh, we clone. Oh, yeah, github.com. Here we go. Uh, I clone it. And now I got to find it. Um, and what did I call it? I called it um, sample GitHub Unity. Okay. Well, you won't have to do this because it'll, if all you have is GitHub desktop, it'll automatically do that. So I've cloned it. Now, where did I clone it to? Uh, uh, show an explorer and I always just go straight to the C drive um, sometimes it depends on your preferences of course but I go straight to the C drive, C drive. so here's my sample github unity now I'm going to create the unity project um, and so let's go ahead and uh, minimalize these things oh, get that out of the way yeah minimalize Okay, so I go to the hub and I go new project. And some of the options here are really annoying. <laughs> uh, so choose your editor. Uh, um, I am mostly using 2022 for new stuff, but this is the latest uh, long-term support. Uh, but I'll go ahead and make it in 2022. And then you got to choose which one. Uh, 3D core HDRP is what I want to do in this case. And then my here's my location. Now, I do not want to make it into my GitHub location. I just want to make it anywhere. So uh, I'm going to create a new folder for that. Test um, GitHub. Test GitHub. Uh, create the project. And of course, it'll grind away. And oh, because I'm using a high definition render pipeline, it's going to grind away for a long time. So I will pause the video. <laughs> uh, pause recording. Okay, okay, so it finally grinded away. And this is what I got. I guess, you know, just accept, <laughs> convert all built in materials to HDRP. Why not? Proceed. Upgrade HDRP materials to latest. Why not? I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm a coder. <laughs> um, all right. There's a new version. Now I don't want the new version. 
Uh, so what do I got here is I've got, I got this. Okay, great. And it's empty with an outdoor scene. Um, one scene, outdoor scene. Uh, I think there's a sample application you can also load that has you know balls and walls and things in it. But there it is. So now what I do is I, well, you know, save and close. Close Unity. Okay. This guy, I don't actually want anymore. I'm going to remove it <laughs> from my project list. This does not delete it. It removes the project. Yes. Uh, because what I want to do next is actually move the project into this folder. So from C, what did I call it? Test something, didn't I? Uh, what did I call it? Test GitHub. And now what I don't want to do, <laughs> what I don't want to do is copy this folder into my Git folder. I want to copy everything in this thing I'm calling test GitHub. Okay, why not? And paste it into my um, sample GitHub Unity because we want this git ignore to be essentially at the same level as all of this stuff. Um, and so bingo. And now I go, if I go to GitHub uh, desktop, I've got all this stuff and 71 change files. You should not have 7,000 change files. You should have somewhere in a reasonable amount of changed files. Uh, um, and so we make a, a summary and I say, uh, first push, first push, description if you want, commit to main. So now this is committing to my local drive. And now I want to push to the origin, meaning now I want to push this stuff up to the server. And I'm done. Now, if we go back to our browser, um, and just refresh this scene here, this this screen here. There it all is. First push, um, and we can look at history and all kinds of stuff there. Uh, and we can also look here, and here's our history. Initial commit. That was when I first created the project without any Unity in it, and then first push, and here are the things. It's all ads, as you can see. Uh, not advertisements, additions. Uh, so now, finally and finally, I go to the hub and I open a project from disk. <laughs> and so I go find that project, sample GitHub Unity, and I add the project to the GitHub. And now I open the project. Oops, I open the project. Open the project. There we go. <laughs> click, click, click. And of course, it's, it might again grind away for quite a while, so I will pause. And so here I am. Um, come on, I got the HDRP wizard again for some reason. Whoops. Didn't mean to dock that. Okay, float. <laughs> okay, it doesn't want float. <laughs> All right, so we dock it. <laughs> And then we get rid of it. Um, then again, so this all looks right to me. Yeah, you know, just for the hell of it, I'll just go and do this again. And because it's up there, show on start. Yeah, don't anymore. And upgrade just in case. No, well, I don't know. Why not? But this looks all right. Oh, I can close this now. Main camera, audio listener, HD additional camera data. I got a sun, sky vo sky volume. So everything seems to be exactly correct to start um, an HDRP project. Done and done. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll make 10 cents <laughs> on my YouTube videos. Uh,
See you later.